Hey guys, John Thompson, Spring Frame Guru here. Today we're going to take a look at some common errors uh, with auto wiring beans in the Spring Framework. A very common one is no such bean exception. What I have here for us to look at is a small spring boot application. We start off, we have a hello world controller. It just brings back a saying that uh, a string that says hello world. And then I have the typical spring boot application where we run it, we get a handle on the spring context. It's expecting to get a controller, and then we're going to call a controller and, and the say hello method on it. So I'm going to run this and show you the error. Okay, we can see that we've thrown a no such bean definition exception, and it's saying no qualifying bean of spring or guru spring framework controllers dot hello controller is defined. Now you're if you're new to spring, you're going to be looking at this going, well, I got a hello world controller, the controller is right here. Um, what Spring Boot does for you, and I set this up to fail on purpose, a Spring Boot application will automatically do a component scan within the package that it's in. Okay, so it's going to look into Spring Boot and below that, well, I, I've got everything defined in a different package. So the way we can resolve this particular issue is to add the co add component scan annotation and give it the package name. Now that I have that defined, if I run this again, we can see that I get the hello world output as expected. So again, what happens is in the Spring Boot, it's going to do an automatic component scan of the package within the Spring Boot application class. In this case, I had my controller defined outside of that, that package, above that package level. And when Spring Boot ran, it did a component scan, did not find that type. And that's why the exception was thrown. By using the component scan annotation, giving it the proper package name of where my controller is at, Spring was able to find that type and wire it into my class. Little gotchas like this can be very difficult uh, for newbies to work through with the Spring Framework, but a little time and experience, you'll have no problem resolving these.